Okay, this is Lake Michigan video number two for a review with this Pelican Trailblazer 100 kayak. And today is a little rougher. It said one to two foot waves, but that surf breaking out there on the beach was a little bit wretched. So I've just been kind of chilling out on the beach for a few hours and it seemed like it calmed down and I wanted to see if the kayak would do it. So I'll get up closer in a little bit, show you how the waves were breaking, but it made it okay. I wouldn't, I had to time it just right so no waves were coming. So it's not a good going through breaking waves kayak whatsoever, but I am curious to see how it does out here on the lake today when we have some one to two foot waves. It's, it's, there are swells out here today unlike any of the other days that I've been here. So let's see how this thing does. Here's a look at the water going on today. Like I said, it has more swells to it, bigger waves. Just when you're swimming in it, you can feel there's a lot more current going on today. It's moving a lot more, so we'll see how it does. Okay, I went both directions on it. One way, it seems like I'm facing into the wind and it goes really well. The other way, it's a little bit slower and harder because it seems to be going against something, current or something, but still, it does just fine. So I'm really excited because it seems like most of the times that I'm up here on the beach, this is what it's going to be like. So again, this is not something to use in breaking water whatsoever. If you had waves out here with any type of like white cap action going on, I would not bring this out. But if you're able to get through the surf to get it out, it's going to be great. I will say I saw some people with a sit on top kayak and they were having no problems getting through the surf. So if you really want to enjoy Lake Michigan, that would be something to do. And it's on my new wish list because once you get one thing, you have to have something else. So I'd be interested to try a sit in kayak too that you could probably use a lot more up here at Lake Michigan. But thanks so much for watching. I'm going to get a picture or a short video of the breaking surf once I get back in and I'll give you an update on how that went too. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, here are the waves. So I just came in on one of those and it did really well. I just went super fast and jumped out and pulled it as fast as I could. So I didn't take on any water there. But when I go back out, just have to time it to where you don't see those big rolling ones come in because there are a few breaks. And hopefully there are some breaks or I'm going to be in big trouble because this is not where I parked my car. <laughs> I am way down the beach. So it did pretty good. Hopefully I can get back out because these types of waves are the ones that are just going to go over the top and you're not going to be able to get out with these. 